At the heart of every successful CASA program is the support and commitment of a dedicated judge. In Oklahoma County, Judge Roger Stewart provides nothing less than support and commitment. Beginning most mornings in his office at 6.30 a.m., Judge Stewart reads every document necessary in order to make the most educated ruling for the safety and protection of the children on his deprived docket. Participating in countywide meetings, statewide judicial committees, and multidisciplinary groups, Judge Stewart knows that making a difference for abused and neglected children is a statewide focus. Judge Stewart never fails to demonstrate the importance of how CASA positively impacts the system and helps make his job a little easier. From organizing patient orientation class to his university law courses, and even teaching CASA volunteers court processes, Judge Stewart truly exemplifies the qualities that this award was designed to honor. Well, I've been doing this for, um, I've been a juvenile judge for the last 12 years. Um, when I first became a juvenile judge, I heard about the idea of CASA and that uh, volunteers would be coming to the courtrooms, and I thought it was crazy. I thought it was nuts. Um, it didn't take me but about a month or two to understand the real uh, function of CASA and how much they were needed by our system, how much the kids needed them, how much I needed them uh, to make the system work. What I like about the job is it's, uh, it's meaningful. Um, I've done a lot of different things during my legal career and uh, quite frankly it's the most meaningful thing I've done and I think one of the most meaningful things any judge can do. I, I don't think the reward award is, is per se to me. I think uh, in, in my courtroom we have um, district attorneys that are assigned to my courtroom, Lori Aller. We have a, a public defender that represents children, Bill McKinney. And we all work pretty much as a team. And I think, um, in, in fact, all of the courts in Oklahoma County uh, respond to the CASAs, respond to the kids in roughly the same way. So I kind of feel like I'm receiving this award on behalf of uh, the people that are in my courtroom that work hard to, on these cases as well as the other judges for Oklahoma County. I don't think you could uh, do anything more meaningful today than volunteer as a CASA. I think it could be a lot of hard work. I can see that it could uh, uh, maybe even grate on you emotionally. Uh, could be emotionally draining, but I believe it, uh, it is the best thing you can do, and it's certainly service to others. Uh, how can you do better than service to little children who are abused and neglected? And uh, again, I want to thank uh, Oklahoma CASAs, Oklahoma County CASAs, the State of CASA Association for this award. Um, and I want to reemphasize how CASA is not just a blessing uh, to the children, but a blessing to the people that are in that court on all the time. And every time I look at this award, I will recall uh, the blessing of CASA in my courtroom.